Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. Today we're going to be including jQuery into our website. Now first, we can't use jQuery without adding the jQuery um, to the website or without allowing it, I guess you could say. Now, so to allow it, we have to go to the jQuery.com. Then we're going to go to download. Then we're going to go down to cdn jquery cdn and a cdn it it's like well right here it better allows the browser to verify that the file is being delivered and that have not been modified so but so a specific one can be google cdn now when we go into here yours might be different it might be like three point a or whenever you're watching this video so we're gonna copy this then we're gonna head back into our atom and paste this right above here now we're just gonna test this out by saying we're gonna add we're gonna do h1 we're gonna do dot CSS color, we're going to change color to red. Let me see if this is working. Yep, there you go. Look, it's working. So we're going to remove that. And now we're going to add something called the click function. Now the dot click is is an event um, handler like so like and it's an event listener so whenever you click something like this maybe you click it's going to take you to something else as you can see it took us to another page or the end of the page so we're going to add that and what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the function so it runs at the same time as all the others we're going to put dollar sign that's short for jquery by the way you can do either way but dollar sign is shorter okay so first, we need to add the styles.css. We're gonna call it dot clicked. Now, we can just put this, well, it'd be up here by the H1 right there. So we can just do dot clicked. In this, we're gonna change the, uh, the background color to yellow. That's what we're gonna, actually, we're gonna change it to blue. Now we're gonna go back into our index.js and create an anonymous function. In this anonymous function, we're gonna call, or I mean, we're gonna make the jQuery, and then in here we're gonna call the h1, then we're gonna do dot toggle class, which will toggle the class on and off. And in this, we're gonna call clicked. Now to check that this worked, we're going to go onto our website, refresh, and as you can see, it is changing to blue. But the thing is, yeah, yeah, there you go. Then you can toggle click on and on and off. That is how to incorporate jQuery into your website. It honestly looks really cool. You can obviously change the color to whatever you want. You can also change the background color because it's kind of a little, you know, ugly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but hope you learned JavaScript, CSS, HTML, and jQuery.